Hello, beautiful people out there in the world. How are you beautiful people feeling today? Beautiful people, as you can see, I'm sitting in the car. It's very windy outside. And I want you all to hear what it is that I have to say without the wind blowing in the microphone and would muffle, would muffle my words. I don't want, you know, what I have to say and what you may or may not want to hear to be muffled. <clears throat> So I wanted to speak clearly, beautiful people, and be a little bit more precise in terms of what I have to say to you, beautiful people. And I hope you beautiful people had a good day at work. I hope the children, the young people had a good day at school, you know, because I've been out and about and I've been seeing the young people getting out of school. And I did as often as I always do, beautiful people, when I see these beautiful young people. I want to know what they learned in school today, and I want them to share it with me. So that uh, upon doing so, I, I want them to feel important. I want them to know that they are important. I want them to know that they do matter. And, you know, I watch the looks on their face when I do. You know how their faces just light up. They, they just have that gleeful look all over their faces and in their eyes when I show them or present to them that I care about them or that they are important to me. Well, I care about you all and you all are important to me as as well. And I know a lot of you all are just getting off of work. And I know after having had a long day at work, you're tired. You, you know, and usually when you're tired, you know, um, you don't always make good choices, you know. Um, you know, in your capacity to think clearly of, or to function, you know, it, it's um, you know, it's it's a, uh, a little um, out of sort, you know, and, and uh, as a result of that fact, you know, sometimes you know we don't always make the best decisions. So don't be hasty with your words, you know. Don't don't um, <clears throat> don't be hasty with what you have to say, you know, because uh, you have to consider the fact that there are other people whom you might engage with or you might be confronted by or, you know, you, um, hopefully this doesn't happen, but you might have words with, you know, or, or face with a challenge with. And both of you all are tired because both of you all had a long day. You have to consider that fact, you know, and if both of you all are being hasty, you know, with what you have to say, you know, uh, Neither of you are considering that fact, you know, and, <clears throat> and, you know, and as a result of that fact, you know, therein lies the challenge, beautiful people. And let's not put each other through that, you know, be mindful of the fact that you're human, you know, and it's okay to be human. You prefer or you would rather be a, be human than to be a robot, beautiful people. And beautiful people, let's not do what robots would do or let's not function like robots would function because that's all they're just going to do is function. But you have been graced and blessed with a mind to think with and a free will to choose. Beautiful people, and we have to exercise the right to use in that free will or to exercise in that free will, beautiful people, to make the right choices and decisions <clears throat> not to offend one another, not to disrespect each other, not to hurt each other with words from our thoughts, you know, that come from our mind, that comes out of our mouths, beautiful people. Let's not function or let's not exist to say something or to do something that we may or may not regret later, beautiful people. But let's always think to love each other, beautiful people. You know, to, um, you know, to strengthen each other, you know, to encourage each other, beautiful people. Let's always think uh, in terms of how we can do that. Beautiful people, what can we say or what is it that we, can, that we can do? Beautiful people, to have good, wholesome, healthy, inspiring moments, inspiring experiences, beautiful people in our lives. Let's not take what has been done to us. 
let's not take what has left us in the state of mind that we're in to feel like we are feeling or how we are feeling. Let's not take that home to our families. Let's not take that home to your wives and to your children. They don't deserve, you know, for you to bring the outside to the inside. They look forward to seeing your beautiful selves come home to experience that social, loving, caring family environment and those beautiful things that flow from the stimulation of that beauty, the beauty of love that you all always in its consistency to share with one another, to leave each other feeling good, to go home at night and to sleep good at night, feeling good, beautiful people, knowing that when you wake up in the morning, beautiful people, you're going to do it all over again for the people that you love. Don't bring that stuff home to your families. Beautiful people, people you love. Beautiful people. Because there are other people out there in the world who wish they had what you had. Somebody's getting off of work. Going home to a, chances are they, they might be going to a home to a lonely and empty house. With nobody to love. And that may be the reason for which which the, may be the reason for which they are angry and frustrated and upset and not happy. It's because that they wish that they had what you had. Beautiful people, they wish that they had somebody to greet them at the door. They wish that they had somebody to greet them at the door with their slippers. Beautiful people. And with a hug and a kiss. And I love you. I miss you, honey. I miss you. I miss talking to you today. Or I miss since the last time we spoke in that lunchtime or this morning. Beautiful people, I long to see you again, to hold you in my arms and to tell you that I love you. Somebody don't have that. They don't have what you have. And they wish they had that. And they long for that. Beautiful people. So beautiful people, that's why it's important that we encourage each other, beautiful people, and not say things to hurt each other or to offend one another. You never know how deep-seated those wounds are and how deep they go in someone else's life, beautiful people. And you don't want to be beautiful people. You don't want to add to the problem, beautiful people. You don't want to make how they're feeling with their dealings and the things that they are going through that so badly hurt them, beautiful people, that they walk around looking stoic, beautiful people, unaffected, looking like they're unaffected by a, a pleasure or pain, emotions or feelings. You want to strengthen that person. You want to lift that person up. You want to be the kind words and smiles that that person needs to continue to hold on and to be strong until... You beautiful people. If in fact that is their choice. But until someone comes along or they meet someone special like you that will love them with the love that you're experiencing that or that you're feeling in your life, beautiful people. This is what we want, beautiful people. We want to be the strength. We want to be the encouragement. We want to be the support to that person. Beautiful people. So that when you're saying things, even if they... Say something negative to your good response. Just keep coming back with love, kind words, and a smile. You never know, like I said, how deep-seated their wounds go. Don't think they're not thinking about what you said when, in that quiet time when they revert back to recant the day. They're thinking about what you said. They're not thinking about the person that offended them. Or as I, often as I've said it, the person that have cussed them out. Beautiful people. They're thinking about the person that loved them in beautiful people, and made them feel comfortable in that moment, when that moment began, when you shared love, kind words, and a smile with them. Give them some hope so that they could cope. And ultimately, and chances are, most sooner than later, beautiful people, they're going to let you know and show their appreciation for your kindness towards them. Be the strength that they need. Be the strength. Let's be the strength to each other, the encouragement to each other that each other need. I love you all, and you beautiful people have a smiling day.